is a nice little piece. Oh, she's a nuggy. Oh yes, it's a piece of gold. What is up guys, it's Sean here from Busted Knuckles Prospecting and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how I use my Gold Monster 1000 to find gold nuggets on bedrock. So come along, I hope you enjoy and let's hit it. Oh. So, in a previous video I worked this section and I found a gold nugget. Now I've noticed Probably one of my stalkers has come back and they've worked all the material up under the crevice that I originally started working. But then they've come along, they've smashed out some rocks, didn't fill their hole in after they were done, and they've worked this crevice just here. But chances are they did not have a Gold Monster 1000 like I do. So we are going to swing this Gold Monster over this bedrock here and see what these guys may have left behind. Okay. That's all gold. That might be potentially good. Zion. Okay. Let's look for this target first. What we'll do is we'll clean all this up first. And then we'll run the detector over it. And see where our target is at the moment basically pointless trying to find it we'll be here forever so just start sweeping all this up load our pan up we'll pan it out we'll come back swing the detector over it someone's put the effort in to clean this out remove all the rocks but they haven't cleaned it out thoroughly enough. See how rough the bedrock is? That is perfect for little pickers to get caught up in. We're just gonna sweep all this down. We'll load it into the pan. Then we'll head down to the creek, pan it out, see if we've got any specks of gold. Then I will rerun the gold monster around this spot and try and find my target. Okay, let's see if our target's in the pan or still in the ground. Right here. Oh no, let's break it out, eh? There we go. Let's have a squiz. Can't see anything yet. piece of gold right at the tip of my finger there is a nice little piece oh she's a nuggy oh no she's a picker very nice I will take that all day long I'll throw that into the pan I will continue cleaning all this material out we've got our picker just here in the pan so we'll get the pan completely full up with material then we'll head down pan it out and see what we get out of it 
Hey, we got it reasonably cleaned out. We got one picker in the pan. So we'll go down, pan this out, and I'll show you what comes of it. have it guys that's what somebody's missed by not cleaning their crevice out good and proper they'd be spilling they didn't get that bad boy look at him look at him we'll get that into the snuffer bottle and I will have a bit of a poke around see if I can't find one more crevice to work next crevice we got a lot of jammed in hard packed rocks which probably will slow me up quite considerably but we'll do a couple of pans out of this and just see what comes of it right, there's some juicy hard packed material in there it's just a case of getting it all out Ready to get an iron. Oh, there's got to be something good in this. Look how hard packed this is. some goodness. Alright, there's gonna be nuggies for more than this. At least the picker. We will pan this material out and I'll show you what it looks like right now. That's all we got. Absolutely nothing other than I don't know what that is, button off something, and we've got a heck of a lot of iron. That's me iron there, and we got this piece. It's just a gob of pyrite. Okay, I've decided I'm going to abandon this crevice because it's hollow at the bottom. Be 
piece of lead. One piece of lead. I think I will pack up and call it a day now. If you've liked what you've seen today, go down, hit the like, share and subscribe button. With all that being said, peace, I'm out and I'll see you gals in the next video.